Okay. That's my dad. Oh. Okay. Who else enjoyed Life is Sweeter as much as I did? The villain kid's part is the best, right? And am I the only one completely obsessed with Bridget? Anyway, the incredibly popular song contains many secrets and things only true fans might have noticed. I bet you didn't notice the fourth secret. If you don't want Yuliana to come after you, you best like the video and subscribe to the channel. More Descendants videos coming really soon. Let's go. The first thing I noticed was the similarity to one of my favorite Descendants songs, Queen of Mean. Maybe not in terms of music, but how it tells the story of someone that starts good, but is drawn by the dark. Think about it. If you take Bridget's story and put it into a Queen of Mean video, it fits exactly. The good girl gone bad. The music itself also gets darker towards the end. When the villain kids come in and sing their parts, not only the lyrics, but some of the music has a dark tone. Listen closely. The dark is a little enticing. The dark is a little enticing. Cool, right? Speaking of similarities, the song also reminds me of my year from the first Zombies movie. That song also consists of two parts which are merged at the end. I felt that in general, the songs reminded me a lot of Zombies. The third thing I noticed was the obvious wig change. It's kind of funny. It happens quite a lot during the movie, but it is really obvious in the clip as well. Look. Her hair grows quick. The fourth thing is all about the fairy godmother. In the movie, and a bit in the clip, we get to see her doing some magic, and it's not really good. Now it makes more sense that Jane, her daughter, accidentally destroyed the barrier in the first Descendants movie when she grabbed the wand. like mother, like daughter. By the way, does the fairy godmother's voice remind anyone else of Selena Gomez? Or is it just me? Her spell, even though it never really works out well for me. Moving on to Hades and Maleficent. Despite the fact that they had almost no lines, their presence is absolutely iconic. This intro is just chef's kiss. It's really quick, but we see Hades holding Maleficent's hand and taking her away. We see them being very close in the rest of the movie. I would love it if we got to see more of them in Descendants 5, them being Mal's parents and all. It felt like they really just enjoyed the drama of it all. I especially love this scene with Hades. He just doesn't care. Yeah, someone should help her. My favorite. Speaking of the villain kids, Hook and Morgie also made their entrance. We are already familiar with Hook's son, Harry. And to be honest, I still like Harry more. Now, Morgie. If you didn't know yet, Morgie is the son of Morgana Le Fay, a sorceress from the Arthurian legends. Very unknown villain in the Disney world, but exciting to include him nonetheless. The sixth thing is all about Bridget. She is the obvious star of the song. She keeps reminding me of Enid from Wednesday, especially when she wears her headphones and dances like her. Isn't it funny how Bridget is so positive and cheery in the song? With love and treats, everyone will love her. But adult Bridget? It's better to be feared than loved. Wow. What a change. Do you think that some parts of the young Bridget are still there in the adult Queen of Hearts? Or is she completely gone? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. What did you think about Life is Sweeter? Let me know. See you next time.